อุ้ยไปเพื่อนจะทำอะไรไป Hey what is up guys a n y o u here with another YouTube video and today I'm gonna be showing you how to install Optifine for Minecraft the easiest possible way I know there are a lot of videos out there and they make it sound really complicated in this video I want to make it sound as simple as possible on how to install Optifine for Minecraft to make your game more smooth and get higher frames per second so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your Minecraft um, the whole purpose of opening Minecraft in the beginning is to see what version of Minecraft you're running if you already know what version of Minecraft you're running then you can skip this step but for those of you that don't basically you want to open up your uh, Minecraft and you want to click on or you want to look in the bottom right corner and you want to see what it says ready to play Minecraft 1.8.8 and if you want to, if that's not the latest version click edit profile and it should say right here use version and if it says use latest version then that's what you want and then you also you want to click save profile or whatever and it'll say ready to play so that's all we need to know right if ready or Minecraft version is Minecraft 1.8.8 .8. all right so now you want to go to your browser Google Firefox Explorer all that and look up Optifine It'll be at the top. You can either click on the top one right here, the actual one, or you can go straight to the downloads. We want to skip all the other steps and we'll go straight to the downloads. And it will tell you. Actually, you know what? Let's go back to the actual website so we can I can show you what all it. Alright, so basically Optifine, it's a Minecraft optimization mod. It lets run faster and all that good stuff. Basically makes your game. If you if those of you that have a computer that isn't um, built for like gaming and stuff, or you're having trouble with your frame rate and it's really slow and laggy. This program will be is perfect for you because it will double. It, it's common that the, the FPS will double, decreases lag spikes, all that good stuff. Um, sports HD textures, are, so it won't like have any problem with your texture packs and stuff like that. Um, variable render distance, smooth lighting, performance. Uh, basically, all the um, settings that affect your FPS and lag and all that stuff. This is what it will fi it fixes it. So basically you want to go to downloads, it'll be at the top corner right here, and you want to click on the version of what your Minecraft was. Um, so we're running Minecraft 1.8.8, .8, and we want the HD Ultra, and it, that's I guess the only option, and you want to pick the latest version. Uh, that's usually because, I mean, see it's bolded there, it's the latest version, it's most, probably one of the, it tells you like the date here and everything. So I mean, I, I would recommend downloading the last one they've put out. So you want to click download here, it'll take you to add fly page here. You want to click stay on this page. Now you want to click leave this page. Click download. I don't know, it comes up sometimes. It. I have to do it every time I come on here. Let's click leave page and go back to it for some reason. And then it'll start the countdown for ad fly. Click skip ad. Click download Optifine 1.8.8 HDU F3 dot char. It'll download in the bottom right, bottom left corner. If it say, if some of your computers say that it's a virus, it's really not. There's thousands of Hundreds of thousands of people that install this that play Minecraft because they experience the same problems with their Minecraft having lag issues. So it's completely lag free, or completely, you know, it's lag free too, but it's completely um, virus free. There's no no problems with it. And I will be leaving a link to the uh, Optifine website. Um, basically, once it's downloaded, you want to click click it, and this will come up. Okay, for those of you, whenever y'all click it and nothing happens for, let's say at least 10 minutes, then the problem is you're don't you you either your Java is not um, it's not updated I wouldn't say it's not installed because if it's not installed then you wouldn't be able to play Minecraft um, because Java or Minecraft requires Java to be able to play so you're probably something wrong with your Java I'll leave a link to this to the uh, downloads page on Java so you can get the latest version of Java the current latest version but that should be your problem if it's not coming up but if it does come up you or once you do get it coming up um, <clears throat> click install doesn't take too long to install at all. Click OK. Um, by the way, for those of y'all that, that it still doesn't come after after installing Java and all that stuff, leave a comment in the in the comment section below, and I will help you out as soon as I can. But once it once it says download successful, you can exit out of Optifine. You want to reopen Minecraft. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, reopen Minecraft, and uh, you should see now there's two profiles now. Andy Eno is my actual default, and then Optifine is the next is the Optifine profile, it's created automatically. And it'll say ready to play Optifine or Minecraft 1.8.8 .8 Optifine HD U F3. And then you just want to click play. And it will um, load into the Optifine profile. Okay, let's see here. 
I don't know what this thing. It's something new with Windows 10. All right, so you want to click single player. Let's just create a world. Let's call it test. Let's put it into creative. Let's do super flat. Um, bonus. No, we don't even need any of that. Let's just create our world. The purpose of me putting on uh, super flat is to see what the highest frames possible you can get with installing Optifine. All right, so it's going to generate everything within the radius of whatever you've set it to. All right, you want to click settings, options. Video settings. <clears throat> All right, so your render. <clears throat> you want to start with your render distance. Whatever your render distance is, the uh, the render distance is what determines how much, it, like how what the block radius is being rendered into your view. So the lower you put it, the better your frame rate will be. So you can. And that's another thing with Optifine. You can wave your mouse, your cursor over every one of the settings, and it will tell you like a little pop up, little bar right here. Visible distance too tiny. 32 meters, which is the fastest. If you want it fastest as possible, put it all the way down to two. The only thing about two is it will, um, you won't be able to see things. Like for me, for Sky Wars, I have mine set to around 10 because I'm able to see the other islands and what players are doing and stuff. So that's what, that's my personal setting. But for those of you that are having bad problems with your FPS, put it as low as possible, whatever you need it, whatever that may be. But I'm gonna keep mine at 10. Graphics needs to be fast, smooth lighting needs to be off. Level needs to be off. Bright doesn't really affect anything. Fog fast. Shaders doesn't really matter because we don't have any fast render is off. Apparently we have fast render on. Details. I'm just going to click through these and <clears throat> just pause the video here and you can copy the settings as I go. Animations. You can have all these off. You can have them all on. I just turned them off previously for the purpose of this video. But just to see what they are. And we're already on a flat world anyway, so let's just turn everything off. Um, view bobbing on view v, v use vbos sorry um you can turn that on it doesn't really it's usually found in okay so let's just turn it on alternating blocks we aren't using a resource pack fog doesn't 1.8 the fog starts far from the player it doesn't usually affect the performance someone will say see how it says this option usually does not affect the performance that if that comes up that means you can change it to whatever you want quality better grass custom fonts off <clears throat> everything off here basically nearest min map levels maximum smoothing it doesn't affect performance you want this to be nearest anti-analysing off and this tropic whatever filtering off everything off basically done performance on on chunk updates one is the uh, it says fat the one is a slower world loading but higher FPS that's what you want but if you want faster world loading and lower frame per, frames per second, um, you want to put it to five, and then three is the middle. Lazy chunk up loading update. I mean, that means it's smoother, so you want it on. Smooth world on, fast math on, dynamic updates on. Okay, so that's all of your settings. Now let's see what our frames are. Let's everything render. 43, 56, 47, 61. I, I think the perp the reason it's my frames are lower is because I'm recording. Usually I'm hitting around 200 frames, which is kind of depressing if my uh, frame rate's going down over 100 just because of recording. I've, it's just something I gotta fix. <clears throat> but usually I'm hitting around 150 frames. I can leave a uh, screenshot of that down in the description if y'all really want one. But um, that's what I'm re usually running, but since I'm recording, it's a little bit lower. But you should see, those of y'all that are having uh, problems, y'all want to uh, get this program it's really helpful for those and it will help it drastically affects your performance and makes your frames rates much higher but uh yeah thanks for watching this video guys leave a thumbs up if you uh, enjoyed this video um leave a comment in the section below if you're having issues i can help you there um but yeah t I, a lot of y'all liked my skywars videos i did one a few days ago actually yesterday um with one of my good friends blake if you haven't seen that video go check it out um but if you like those kind of videos leave a comment in the section below telling me to make more videos of this kind or anything minecraft related and i will get straight to it i'm planning on making a lot more gaming videos because i want to bring out a lot more uh, people that are interested in games into my channel because my channel is starting to grow bigger but anyways that's what that's that's what's going on um my schedule for minecraft or if not for minecraft for my videos in general i'm gonna be trying to upload videos every every weekend basically or any time during the week i might upload video a video or two during the week if i have 
um, time to because I do have a lot of schoolwork to uh, attend to. But um, the days I don't, I will try to make a video for you guys. So I'm always trying to make y'all uh, new videos to watch and all that good stuff. But uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave a thumbs up and tell me what you think about this video. Um, please make please make sure to subscribe. Um, I'll leave a subscribe button in the somewhere in the screen here somewhere. And um, but and I'll leave a link in the description below. But thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you guys next time.